In this session, we are going to discuss about how do we install TypeScript and work with TypeScript. Let us take a simple overview of how do we install TypeScript. So, for installing TypeScript and using TypeScript, you need a, a package manager. So, we are going to use node package manager, package manager npm. By using this node package manager, we can install any package required for our application development. There are various package managers like npm, yarn, ruby gems and so many. So, you can get this node package manager by installing node js. So, you need to install, install node js. You can install node js from the official node js uh, source for your PC. It can work on cross platform any operating system services. Once you install Node.js on your machine, you will get a package manager npm. Through that package manager, you can install all your packages. So, I will show you the basic repository. Here we have a Node.js official Node.js.org. In Node.js, you can go to other downloads and uh, you can download your suitable version of Node.js on your machine. So, you can download the MSI which will get you an installer so that you can install and finish uh, deploying of Node.js in your application uh, in your PC. Once it is ready, now you need to check whether Node.js and NPM are working fine. It is a simple process of installing. You can just click and download this MSI and open that MSI which will give you an installer. Follow the steps and install on your PC. Once it is done, you need to check the version of Node.js and NPM. You can do that by opening the command prompt and in the command prompt, you can run the command as a node hyphen v. Node hyphen v will get the version of node js that is running on your PC and npm hyphen v, it will get the npm version that is installed here. Once you got node js and you have npm that is the package manager, now we can set up the TypeScript environment. What you have to do is, you have to install TypeScript, TypeScript. You can install TypeScript from uh, so npm by running the command npm install and uh, hyphen g TypeScript. This command will uh, let you to install the TypeScript whatever the latest version available and once the TypeScript is installed, you can check the version and npm is not package manager install is the command to install any package and uh, hyphen g is globally installing so that you can access from any drive on your machine. So, here we can just run this as uh, npm install hyphen g and uh, typescript that is how we can install typescript. Once the typescript is installed, you can check the version of typescript. So, to check the version of TypeScript, you need to use TSC hyphen V which will get the version of TypeScript. So, TSC is TypeScript compiler. So, it will get the version of TypeScript. So, TSC hyphen V, it will get the version of TypeScript. And the version currently installed in my PC is 3.7 which is the latest version of TypeScript. So, that means now you your machine is ready to work with uh, TypeScript. Now, we will use an editor for uh, developing applications and uh, testing our TypeScript environment. So, for that you can use any type of uh, editor. You can use various editors. We are going to use Visual Studio Code Editor. Subline brackets or Visual Studio Code Visual Studio, you can use various editors for uh, working with your TypeScript environment. Of course, even you can write your TypeScript programs in a notepad 
and you can compile and run these TypeScript programs. So, we will use a specialized editor so that it can uh, help us in debugging and uh, identifying the bugs so that occur, occur usually while we are writing TypeScript programs. So, we will install the Visual Studio code and you can get that Visual Studio code. Visual Studio code official we can get download from the Visual Studio code. This is Visual Studio code official and it is an open source cross platform editor that you can use for building your any kind of web applications. So, we will download this uh, Visual Studio code editor. Once your Visual Studio code editor you can see that it is available for various operating system services. So, this is code.visualstudio.com from where you can download your Visual Studio code. Once you done with installing the Visual Studio code, now we need to set up environment to run, compile and work with our TypeScript programs. So, what are the basic requirements you need to keep ready? The package manager npm and node.js, you need to install TypeScript and check its version and you need to install Visual Studio code and editor. And once you done this, now uh, you can uh, test the TypeScript programs, run the TypeScript programs. I will just give you a flow so that we can later learn about how to create and work with the TypeScript environment, just the flow. Once the Visual Studio code is ready, this is your Visual Studio code. What we will do is we will maintain a folder for our TypeScript project. I am maintaining a folder for TypeScript project in my C drive. I have TypeScript video. It is an just empty folder we created and open the folder in your Visual Studio code. This is the Visual Studio code editor. Actually, when you open Visual Studio code, you can see that in Visual Studio code editor in the home screen, you can observe in the customize options, you have tools and languages here you need to install support for JavaScript. So, click on this install support for JavaScript, it will install the support for JavaScript on your Visual Studio code. So, that TypeScript transcompiles everything into JavaScript, you can even bug, debug and identify the problems in your JavaScript. So, it provides a complete IntelliSense for JavaScript and TypeScript. Once you have done this, now open your folder that you have created. So, that is open folder and our folder is the TypeScript video and this is the folder that we have created for our TypeScript practice. And you can see that in the left panels, so here you have the explorer, you will get the complete project explorer and uh, here you have a search for searching your files and another important is extensions, extensions so that you can add plugins which will help you in handling various types of coding environments. Later you will understand about these bugs and uh, working with the source controls. Initially in the explorer, you can uh, click on this new file button. So, it will prompt you to create a new file. I will just create a file called uh, some welcome.ts. TypeScript programs will have the extension ts. Once you created the TypeScript file. Now, you can code your TypeScript file here. Initially, TypeScript is the superscript of uh, JavaScript. So, every JavaScript program is valid in TypeScript. Initially, we have not started anything about TypeScript. So, in order to just test how TypeScript is working, here I will just put a console and a log which shows a message. So, welcome to TypeScript. And you know that console log is a JavaScript function which is used to print output in the debug, debugger. So, debuggers console. So, I am just writing. So, welcome to TypeScript and uh, let us save this and we need to compile and run this. To compile and run this TypeScript program, so we need uh, to execute the commands from a terminal or you can do it from the command prompt. So, you can open a terminal which is integrated with Visual Studio code editor. 
you can get that by using control back tick you have to use uh, to open terminal to open terminal you have to use control plus back tick this is actually back tick you can use this control back tick for uh, accessing the terminal launching the terminal so you can simply use control back tick you can get a terminal or you can simply go to the terminal menu and select a new terminal and you can see that you will get the terminal window in this terminal you make sure that you are in the same folder where you have created your file and now you have to compile this typescript program i am just compiling the typescript program by using a typescript compiler tsc tsc is the typescript compiler so this will transcompile your typescript into javascript so tsc and the typescript file name is uh, welcome.ts once you execute this it will compile and it will identify if any bugs are there while compiling and you can see in your project explorer left side you have welcome.js a javascript file is generated for your typescript now you have to run the javascript file in order to view the output and that you can do by using node compiler we have a node compiler which you can access by using node node compiler allows you to compile and run javascript files you can simply use the word node and the program name this time it is a javascript program name so welcome so welcome dot js so typescript is transcompiled into javascript now you are running the javascript program to see the output and you can see the output says welcome to typescript so this is the basic approach of how do we set up an environment for working with typescript we haven't started anything about typescript in coding we will learn about various topics in typescript we will discuss step by step all the concepts of typescript in our next session thank you mm -hmm.